On this new video of Soul Computer Science, we see a programming exercise about strings using the C programming language. So, given a string, you must swap the letter cases for characters between A and Z. For example, if you have a string such as this one, the program must return its case inverted version. Use this guideline by adding the missing code to it and overwriting the array variable with the result. Advice have a look at an ASCII table. You can run man7ASCII on a GNU Linux system or install the ASCII package and run ASCII-D. Subtract the lowercase letter a with the uppercase a, i.e. 97-65. Is there a pattern for all letters until z? Think about it for a moment. Now, there are various ways to do this. As I just said, you can check the numeric representation of the letter lowercase a and uppercase a, which are 97 and 65 respectively. If you do 97 minus 65, you get 32. Since lowercase b is represented by 98 and uppercase b by 66, you still get 32 if you do the subtraction. This pattern repeats itself until the letter Z, so we can use this property for all 26 letters of the English alphabet. So, to get from a lowercase character to an uppercase one, we just need to subtract 32. Vice versa, we need to add 32. Let's have a look at this program for a moment. In C, we can work with the numeric representation directly thanks to the fact that ASCII characters are stored as numbers in a char variable. Here I've set several variables to show you how the char and unsigned char variables work. Variables C and D are equal. All the others are there just to show you the limits of these data types. When using strings with ASCII characters, you typically would use the standard char data type, not the unsigned one. Let's compile and run this program. We can already see some warnings for variables in underflow and overflow. Normal char variables are assigned and they hold values between minus 128 and plus 127. Unsigned char variables, on the other hand, go from 0 to plus 255. Being numbers, these variables can be used with operators such as sum, subtract, etc. So, we can do the conversion like this. Let's go back to our main problem and start writing a solution as pseudocode. We know that we need to do the letter conversion somewhere as well as iterate through the whole string. As said earlier in the video, we already found the condition to identify the lowercase and uppercase characters. Because of this, we can expand the previous pseudocode this way. Translating the previous pseudocode to C is a matter of syntax. We can also integrate it in the guideline presented at the start of the video. Let's start from the top. assert.h and string.h define the assert and strcmp functions respectively. The string is iterated through the while loop by checking the null terminating character. After doing the character conversion, I use the assert and strcmp functions to check if the resulting string is the same as the one between quotes. If the expression is false, the program stops at that point. The assert function is very handy while you debug or when you write tests. strcmp compares two strings and returns zero when they are equal. Let's try the solution. Now I'll change a character in the assertion condition string and show you what happens. Look at the error.
As said earlier, this is just one possible solution. To filter and transform characters, you can also use functions defined in ctype.h such as isUpper and toUpper. Now we'll see a solution in C++ that uses these embedded functions. The overall logic is the same as the solution I just showed you. The string is iterated in the same way. In C++, you can use the string data type instead of char. As you can see, this program works as well as the one written in C. Thank you for watching this video. Like, comment and subscribe for more programming tutorials. Bye bye.